Hey, welcome to Money Club Mondays. It is November 27th, the Monday after Thanksgiving. So we're getting ready to roll right into December. Later this week, a lot going on. And uh, today we got a couple really cool new opportunities from uh, Private Money Club Premier Borrowers. And uh, we're going to dive right into it. So today's going to be all about um, deals. And so the first deal that we have coming up uh, is from my friend Hunter, who I met at a mastermind in Louisiana. So good old uh, Louisiana guy coming on with us first here. And uh, Hunter has been doing a lot of real estate. Um, they're into some development and have a bunch going on. And Hunter was on earlier this year with some different real estate deals that they had available. But, but to, and I'll let Hunter Kelly tell you a little bit more about his background and what all he's done with Private Money Club so far and with his business and his partners. But today he has a really unique opportunity um, in an actual business uh, that, that builds cabinets, I believe. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. But the reason I love this is because, you know, Private, Private Money Club is first and foremost a platform for primarily real estate back deals. But when it comes to private money lending, you know, why does it have to stop at real estate? And something you always hear in finance and in money and investing is diversity, you know, diversify. And so, you know, if we're lending on all real estate deals, given there's a lot of different types of real estate deals that you can diversify into, but why not diversify even out of real estate if the opportunity makes sense for you? And so we've seen that with equipment, you know, you've heard us talking about flipping forklifts and, um, and equipment. You've heard us uh, talking about lending money on uh, semi-trucks. Actually, Leanne just brought that up in the comments. Can oh. we bring Kendrick on to talk about, uh, can we bring Kendrick on to talk about the semis? So people are lending on these semi-trucks that are being financed. I've seen people that have asked to raise money for buying vehicles. We've talked about funding oh. artwork. So there's always different ways, but to me, business, not necessarily a business startup, which could be right, you know, not necessarily talking about like restaurants. We all know there's a lot of risk in restaurants, but business acquisitions is something that's really um, fascinating to me. I don't know a whole lot about it, but it's something that I've started to learn a little bit about. And we had a guy named Abby at the last Money Tank event in Raleigh. And if anybody was there, you guys saw um, Abby speak a little bit, and that's primarily what he talks about, our business acquisitions and all the opportunity out there for, as a lot of these business owners are retiring, a lot of times their kids don't want to take the businesses over. You know, they don't know what to do with them. They don't, you know, they don't want to just let them go. They'd like to sell those businesses, maybe use that money for retirement and have the, the business, you know, live on, so to say. And so I think there is a lot of opportunity in that. I think there's a lot of really cool things happening in that industry. And that's something that Hunter is, is being getting a little bit into. And what we're going to talk about today, uh, what they have going on. So hopefully, Hunter, that was a, a, an all right introduction. But um, how's it going, man? It's good to see you. We haven't talked in a few months. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, good. Yeah, your uh, Florida State uh, Seminoles are finishing strong. Oh, yeah, man. It's been a fun season. Had a good uh, a good win. We beat the Canes a couple weeks ago, beat the Gators Saturday night. So it's uh, it's been a lot of fun for sure. But um, it's, it's tough here in Baton Rouge. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> But no, that was that was perfect. Uh, everything you said was pretty spot on, and um, you know, and I and I love the the idea of diversifying because um, that's kind of what we're looking at with this um, this cabinet business. You know, my background's been in construction since I got out of college, and um, from that led me into real estate investing. So we've got our construction company. We've also got an exterior lighting company. Um, you know, we do Christmas lights, things like that, um, temporary and permanent. Um, but the the diversification there, I think, um, I, I love the idea and want to be as diverse as possible, but stay in my wheelhouse at the same time, and you know, take these things that are you know costing me uh, money on my flips or our developments, things like that, and we can turn those expenses into uh, you know assets. It was pretty spot on this deal in particular. Um, he's an older guy, just a hardworking, uh, older man that not necessarily real business savvy, not that I am, uh, at the end of the day, you know, not uh, to sound that way, but, um, you know, he's an old guy just uh, was doing this to, to make a living and he's built a good, a great reputation here locally, um, with, uh, probably 12 or 15 builders, 
Um, he's got all of the equipment, the space. So it was actually through a real estate deal that I got to talking to him about it. Um, he was selling uh, their house where their equipment was located. And we went to take a look at it and uh, they didn't really uh, end up wanting to buy the house, but the, the, I was more interested in the business. And, you know, through those conversations of real estate, this has come up more times than not through the deals that we're looking at because we've been looking pretty heavily into light industrial, you know, warehouse properties. And I think it's a crazy statistic of the number of baby boomers that are retiring every day. And, um, you, you know, exactly like you said, they either they didn't have kids, their kids have no interest in running the business. They, you know, they'd rather have the money, set themselves up for retirement, invest it pat more passively now that they've uh, built up their business. And so through uh, my conversation with this gentleman, uh, you know, kind of figured out, uh, you know, He's he's older, like I said, and was getting ready to the retirement age, but he wasn't necessarily ready to completely retire. And which is kind of the greatest part about the deal um, is he's going to stay on for uh, I think we've got him for five years and he's going to continue to manage. And we've got um, five employees with it on top of our subcontractors. So everybody, everything is staying in place. We're essentially buying the equipment. He's got that, so he'll have that cash to put into his retirement. He's, he knows he's going to have that. And we'll have the ability to not have to work in the business. We'll be able to work on it and grow the sales, the processes, the systems, because that was kind of the real issue for him. Is it, his business wasn't bankable for a traditional um, you know, lending institution, mm -hmm. essentially, to go and put it out there. Um, to sell to be able to get a loan for it so we were able to come in and you know get this set up and um, use what he's built um, to raise the capital purchase the business and turn one of our biggest expenses in our flip houses and any of our construction projects into a pretty big cash flow and asset it's one of those things that you wouldn't always think about from the outside you know all the expenses that go into house flipping and everything involved in real estate. And so you guys have, see a big expense in your real estate business on cabinetry, obviously. And so you found this and said, hey, if we can own the cabinetry shop, then we're basically making money twice, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's uh -huh. genius. Now, so, so you guys are looking to buy this business. You're cashing them out. You're basically buying all the equipment. And I have a list here. Can I share these, these figures? Oh, to you know, absolutely. Or? Absolutely. Okay. And so, um, let me just share the list of equipment to start with. And yeah. And go there. Um, so I pulled this up. All right. So if you want to kind of just quickly talk through this, so this is everything that would be included in the sale. And this is kind of what is acting as the collateral, so to say, right? Right. And so uh, uh, right there at the top, a CNC machine. Um, it's uh, a four by eight uh, CNC, and that's essentially the brains behind the operation. You uh, type the specs into the computer, they uh, send it over to the machine, and it uh, cuts out all of the pieces of the cabinets, and then it's just putting together the puzzle after. And then, you know, everything else you see there is just different woodworking tools, um, you know, in, in order to put together uh, all of the cabinets to get them ready for install, uh, along with the uh, the two uh, enclosed trailers um, and the uh, the tractor and truck also, which the truck is a uh, it's 2021 um, Chevy 2500 HD crew cab. I don't have the uh, the model uh, number in front of me for the tractor, but um, you know those things will run forever. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, fairly new. It's a uh, 2005 uh, year tractor for, you know, moving materials around, uh, things like that, maintaining. But uh, so the total assets, it's got it there as uh, right at 190000 uh in assets. And so what we've got is the opportunity to, uh, you know, we're looking at investments of fifty to $150,000 and you know back it with all of that so worst case scenario we've got to you know sell the assets we've got plenty of wiggle room there uh to back it with rather than the traditional real estate yeah no that, that it makes so so if anybody has any questions on any of this make sure you guys add those 
in the chat box. And I know you've done, you know, you've ran the numbers. So you have the past three years of sales. You have a, a one year revenue stress test here. So, you know, if anybody is interested in this deal, I guess the best way would be to connect with you, Hunter, and you can kind of send them those financials and you guys can run through that. So I just said, it's, you know, it's a Absolutely. profitable business. It looks like on here, um, profitable business. You're keeping the operator for five years um, and, uh, and you have all that equipment. Um, you know, backing this loan. So kind of some of the details. And then you're still looking for 50 to 150,000. You're looking at 12% interest for um, for about a year. Is that? Is that uh, yeah, uh, six to 12 months. And the, um, the numbers that I used in um, the spreadsheets that I sent you were for 9% uh, simple interest for five years, but the monthly payments, uh, they come out the same. So it's a preference thing as just the original that we did, but that's pretty much the, the tall and short of it. They did um, 597,000 last year and on track to do the still got uh, a little time few jobs left um for this year but on pace to match or exceed that and then whenever we come in we plan to um hit the marketing pretty hard um like i said my background's in construction um uh, worked on a bunch of government projects uh have a lot of relationships with the local local builders so uh within the first six months uh we look to, uh, you know, be at the five hundred thousand dollar mark of this coming year. Uh, ideally, with the conversations that I've been having uh, throughout the due diligence process, um, some close friends of mine are kind of specialized in government funded uh, senior housing. They just bought two um, twelve story buildings in Baton Rouge that are uh, going to be coming up in the next year, year and a half uh, for install. Um, we've got a re very good relationship. So I'm going to have a very good shot at getting the, the contract for that uh, along with all of the other uh, local builders on top of the ones that they already have. Very cool. So very similar to, so, so how, what would the, um, you know, what would the, the contract look like for this? Do, do you guys have that done by a lawyer or just yes. kind of what's some of the bait? It's just if somebody's interested, you know, they can start picturing what needs to be done and what that looks like. They call it a uh, a UCC. Um, it's basically collateralized uh, for oh, banks will do it for businesses, um, but it's basically using the equipment as the collateral as opposed to uh, the real estate. Um, and the attorneys have that document and they draw it up. You know, we'll give them all. I've got all the serial numbers. Uh, and the VIN numbers of the applicable equipment so that they can use that to make sure that the value is there and we can cross-reference, uh, you know, like I've got the blue book value on the, uh, the equipment list there. Um, and that essentially, uh, you know, as well, you know, I'll guarantee the, the give it a personal guarantee also. And then the lawyers uh, will just draft, draft that up. They've already got the document, but we'll, whatever specifics we have to iron out, um, get it typed up and sent over. Cool. So you're pretty much ready to, to get this thing rolling then as soon as somebody's. All right, cool. So I know you are um, on Private Money Club. So, you know, obviously somebody can reach out to you on there. So here's the ad on, on the forum, Custom Cabinet. So here's Hunter. Uh, he's been a premier borrower for I don't know, probably over a year now, Hunter. And, yeah, I think so. You know, main, and so he's been around and and um and like I said, I met him at one of Chris Rude's masterminds, and he's part of that network there with that that group. So definitely has good connections and, and a network. And um, like I said before, it's just a great way if you're looking for you know any kind of lending outside of outside of real estate, you know, maybe this could be a great opportunity. So outside of, um, what's the best way for somebody to connect with you, Hunter? Are you just putting the, are your email? I, I just dropped my email address, um, in the, the chat and I can also, I'll throw my cell in here as well. If anybody, uh, call or text, if anybody's got any other questions, I can, uh, shoot you over the spreadsheets, uh, the numbers that we have and, uh, we can roll from there. Yeah, it's, it's cool, man. And if anybody's new to Private Money Club or new to Money Club Mondays, this is a weekly show that we do just kind of highlighting some of our premier borrowers and lenders that are within Private Money Club community. 
Um, so if you are a premier member and you want to come on Money Club Mondays and present a deal or an opportunity or just kind of even introduce yourself to everyone else, uh, just reach out to me and I'll get you scheduled on one. Um, and we also do education on Money Club Mondays and, you know, just talk about different opportunities. So it's a great way to find new places to deploy capital, to make new relationships, to ask questions. Um, so if it's your first time here today, you know, welcome to Money Club Mondays. And, and I'll put some um, I'll put a, a link in the chat in just a moment where if you want to become a premier member, um, you know, we have some different discounts and things like that going right now for Black Friday and Cyber Club Mondays. Uh, Cyber Monday. So I'll, I'll drop that link in a minute here. Um, but outside of that, you know, Private Money Club, there also is a free uh, member option where you can join as a free member and browse the public forum and kind of check out some of this stuff. Um, so yeah, so we, so regardless though of whether you're a premier member or not, you know, if this is something you're interested in and want to talk to Hunter further, uh, his phone number 225-245-0175 um, and his email hunter at ducks on properties.com and uh, you guys can connect you can shoot you over financial you can talk out the details and kind of go from there with it let me um uh Deontay there's not an app for private money club right now but the new mobile version will be very very good um that's coming out in April right now the mobile version works okay uh but it'll be upgraded tremendously in April um and then we'll look at an app down the road for it but the mobile version will be just as good let me see. Hilda said, do you need to be part of PMC? No, Hilda, you can reach out to uh, to Hunter and you guys can connect. And uh, Carlos, yeah, definitely give him a shout. Well, that all sounds good, man. I appreciate you reaching out to me with that and, and, and hopping on here to kind of share it with the community. I have a feeling you'll you'll probably find some um, some interest in this, but uh, keep me updated. Let me know how things are going. We'll keep that, uh, keep that at the top of the public forum also in front of people's eyes. And then once this recording comes out, Hunter, what you should do is is get the link and add it to mm -hmm. there so that people can go back and kind of watch and, and see Absolutely. a little bit about it. Um, so we'll get that going. Nick said, how do we submit a deal to share inside the group? Uh, so Nick, yeah, just log into privatemoneyclub.com um, and then just follow the prompts to be able to submit a deal. All right, cool. All right, Hunter, anything else? I think that's it, man. Thanks so much for the opportunity and uh, we need to get together soon. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll catch up soon. It's been uh, it's been hectic, but um, definitely we'll talk. I soon. get it. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, have a great day. We'll talk soon. All right, cool. So we got another premier borrower coming on next. So if you're not a premier member and you want to learn more about how Private Money Club can help you, um, schedule a call at this link right here, and my team will walk you through Private Money Club, what the membership options are. Uh, we do have a coaching program that tremendously helps a lot of people. Um, and so we can kind of show you what's going on with that. We do, like I said, have some Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals going this week. Um, so maybe be able to even get you a good deal on that stuff. But, you know, once you join Private Money Club as a free user, you can go in and browse some of the stuff and, and you can post on the public forum. But if you want to post deals in the deals section and make personal connections through private messaging and access the learn section, two hour coaching and come on this Money Club Mondays to present your deal like Hunter and Joseph's about to do right now, then that would be the premier membership. And like I said, we get some discounts for the premier membership also. So you can go ahead and get a premier membership. It's a $997 a year with the discount $1,497 without it. And that gets you access um, to everything. So your real estate business lives and dies by the network and the connections that you make. I mean, after all, your network, well, it's your net worth. That's what you always heard, right? If that's an area where you desire improvement, well, Private Money Club, it's for you. PMC saves you precious time and money by bringing the real estate world, well, right to you, right in the palm of your hand. So get in on the action like so many others have by going to privatemoneyclub.com and sign up. All right, cool. So next up here, we got Joseph Banks, who looks like he's out in uh, San Francisco, um, overlooking the <laughs> No, that's Ridge. my background, so, man. <laughs> how are you, Joseph? How are you? Yeah, let me throw a little more light in here. Um, I know we were emailing a little bit back and forth. Um, you know, you're a, a new premier member on Private Money Club, but give us a quick little background. Like, how'd you come about this? What do you got going on? Just give us a little intro to yourself, Joseph. Okay, well, I'm not new to real estate. Originally going back, I began to travel the world like anybody else. We got a little background. I, I was actually living in Nigeria, and then I lived in Israel. Then I came back, and I wanted to buy a house. 
And uh, the, the guy said, well, you can't buy a house. You have no credit. I said, I have no credit because I lived out of the country for so long. I didn't, you know, I didn't have any activity. Those I pesky bankers there. with all those, those pesky bankers with all those rules that they have, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, here's the deal. I sat there for a moment. I felt like a loser. You know, I got all, I got six children and I can't buy a house because I got no credit. So I figured, well, look, I'm in a guy's office. He's a banker. I said, well, how about I work here, man? If I actually close something, you pay me. If I don't, don't worry about it. So I worked there for a year and I learned how to do mortgage uh, brokering. So basically I became a mortgage broker for 12 years and ran my own brokerage. And so that's how I got my start in real estate. Uh, my partner on the BPG International, she actually ran a prison in New York State for 30 years. And uh, basically, when she got involved, uh, Bridget, she was making so much on her salary, she needed to offset taxes. So she figured it wasn't anything better than real estate. Uh, when we combined our efforts uh, between us, we got about 35, I'd say about 35 years and about, about 40 properties that we've purchased, sold, landlord, rehab, private money loan, the various things. And when I came upon Private Money Club, I was like, oh, man, they're talking about what I want to hear. So I was really happy to see that because especially after 2007, when the uh, mortgage meltdown took place, I was never so disappointed with traditional funding. And mm -hmm. I said, there had to be another way, man. It just had to be another way. So uh, my background got into creative financing. Actually, I bought my first property. Uh, well, I own some properties, but in terms of real estate, buying, selling, and landlording, actually contracted about 20 properties uh, with about $10 of my own money. I said, this creative stuff is great. So I realized that there were other opportunities and I got involved. And so for the last 25 years or so, we've been buying, selling, landlording, and various real, real estate opportunities. I love it, man. You got all the experience. All right. All right. Hey, real fast. How'd you run across um, Private Money Club? I don't even know. Maybe I think it was an ad because uh, I've seen uh, uh, a lot of ads recently. Uh, you know, I, I read certain hours at night when I look at the little crazy stuff the children send me on Instagram and Facebook. I like to review it because it's informative <laughs> and funny, you know, and I take a moment and I do that. And I think maybe my son sent me something on Private Money Club. I was like, oh, this is interesting. So when I got a chance to see the interview, I was like, with the uh, the the, uh, the webinar, I said, this is really good. I'm in. What do I have? Where do I sign? Where do I sign up at? Awesome, awesome. All right. So, um, I, I know you sent over uh, the low proposal for this. And, and by the way, if anybody's watching right now, if you guys have questions for Joseph, please put them in the chat box, in the Q and A box. We'll answer those. Um, obviously, a lot of experience here. So. Uh, you know, Joseph, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but most people that are in real estate and really get this business are happy to help others too and answer questions, even if it's outside of this deal. So ask away, guys. Like, I don't want to be the only one kind of interviewing Joseph here, so to say. So let's get you involved also, right, Joseph? Absolutely. I very well uh, welcome it. I, you know, look, this is our community. You know, we've joined it. We've even paid to be here. <laughs> and I love the community because we share ideas, we share information. We share money and also we're making money together. So I'm more than happy uh, to be able to be there uh, for others and uh, feel free to shoot your questions. I love it. I love it. All right, cool. So I know you have a deal right now you are looking um, for private money for. Do you want me to pull that up or do you have it where you want to share your screen or how do you want to kind of talk? Through I that? wouldn't even know how to use this, man. I want you to know, I, I think I'm halfway intelligent, but I'm a little bit computer, computer dyslexic when it comes down to posting things. Oh, but when it comes down to posting like the documents, uh, is there a place where I would post it or something? Or like That's all right. I got you pulled up right here. I'm going to share my screen if you don't mind. So did okay. you put together this loan proposal or who, because this is really well done? Yeah, I did, strangely enough. I want you to know that loans proposal has been very successful for me on Private Money Club. So far, I've closed four deals with okay. Private Money Club in the last uh, 45 days. Wow. Uh, we got about we got about five transactions open right now uh, for okay. opportunities for investors in, uh, you know, real estate backed, uh, either rehabbing or a uh, purchase. This is a purchase uh, that we have taken place that's in Ohio. Really nice environment. Take note. Of, so this, and you got this template from Private Money Club, right? Absolutely, positively. Okay. So for Premier members, you have access to um, uh, different documents and, and templates. And this is what we call the perfect loan proposal. So you take the template and just make it your own, just like 
uh, you see Joseph has done here. So this is this is take notes, guys. If you're a borrower, take notes on how he did this because this is really really well done. And I mean, you said you've done four deals now in the last 45 days, and you're you're now got another one going on. So let's talk through this then. So this is in Middletown, Ohio. Beautiful. Right, it's Middletown, Ohio. Uh, right. We're getting the property, uh, being able to and uh, rehab it all in. We're asking for sixty five thousand dollars. Who's this beautiful woman here? Oh, this is Bridget, my partner. Okay. That's what I was telling you. She was a warden in New York State. She ran a prison for 30 years. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, so don't mess with her. She's a tough woman, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. But she's a sweetheart and professional and very well organized. All right. Yeah, All this right. is a template that I put together that you guys uh, so dearly placed. Very easy to follow. You put your own formula into it. You share your thoughts, your visions, and you make it clear because people want to know who you are, where you're from, what you're up to. Uh, and at the same time, you get a chance to move and put the numbers in. And so uh, I have a tradition on how I do it. I keep a template. Uh, I normally move a picture of the property in and put it in front so you can get a feel of what it looks like. Uh, yep. At the same time, most of the, a lot of the content stays the same because we are who we are. Unless, of course, when it comes down to talking about the transaction, that portion I change up slightly so that uh, you can get a chance to know exactly what we're aiming at. I put a, a, a price point in there of what we're looking for, and then it refers them back to the uh, uh, property specification sheet, which breaks down the numbers and specifications on the deal the timing element of what we're looking for and how we're moving. And so we are pretty, uh, we've been pretty keen on this and getting good responses. And, you know, it kind of like as a salesperson, I always kind of position, well, uh, I believe that dumb has its benefits. So you, pr you put things out in a way so that even if a person was dumb, they could understand it. Not that I'm saying any of our people are dumb, just simplicity, you know? So if it comes down to questions that they have to pick up the phone, the only thing you want them to ask you is where do I send the check? To check and what's your wire instructions. Absolutely. That's smart words right there. Okay. So a lot of this is just kind of the template you're using on, on each deal, which is genius. You know, you don't, no reason to recreate it every time. And That's then you right. change to the numbers. All right. So, so this deal you're looking for, let's get into the numbers a little bit then. So you're looking for 65,000 on this? That's right. We got a purchase price that we're going in for a purchase of 50,000. And we've got about rehab of about 15, 15, five or 15, seven fifty, I think exactly. I want you to know we're a little bit double minded on this only because we got a first plan and then a backup plan. The first plan is, is a purchase and a resale. But one of the things we're also looking on doing with this property is making it one of our first co-living location because of the location that it is or the rehab is that we're going to do on it. I like the environment and uh, we can get a good sale price on it, which is not the issue. But uh, on this, because we're putting so little money into it, we're going to have a pretty good cash flow to the point on this property alone, even if those are single family, we'll probably get around, i say about $4,000 a month uh, before expenses out of this property. That really, that looks really good, doesn't it? That Absolutely. Property, I love that property specification sheet. Yeah, so it just, it breaks it all down, you know, it makes it very clear. So you got the ARV, which is the after rehab or after repair value. Right. Um, you know, they're looking at 15,000 in rehab and they need 65,000. So they're looking to borrow 65,000 on a property that'll be worth 155,000. Right. Um, it's a single um, family. It's going to go down. And now is this a first lien? Is this a first lien or second lien position or what do you got? It's going to be a first lien. Okay. Okay. So if I do the math on that, let me see here. So we'll do a little, uh, so 65,000 loan amount divided by $155,000 home. That's about a 42% loan to value, right, Joseph? Correct. Okay. So you come from the mortgage world. That's, um, that's a, pretty low risk as they would say uh, a loan is that correct yeah it's a very low uh risk because a loan to value guarantees that if everything everything goes to hell the investor gets their money and then some absolutely very important i mean we talk a lot about you know we look at a lot of deals in the 70 to 80 percent loan to value range so this is down all the way at 42 percent, which is pretty incredible um okay so you're, you talk a little bit about the neighborhood which is cool uh, a little more about the home itself. You guys, these are all details you can look into. I'm just kind of showing a, 
a, uh, just a, a snapshot here. So properties being rehabbed and sold or refinanced, install a second bathroom, paint in and out, replace flooring. So it's a little bit about mechanics of the property. And I know you have some comps. We'll pull those up in a second. Yeah, that's why I said on the CCMA, that saves you a little time, right? Absolutely. All right, so nice pro nice profit margin going. All right, you guys broke it down all the way even into uh, into the costs. Yeah, uh, one of the this things that Chris or Hunter, thought, this is uh, where Hunter was just talking about the cabinets. You know, that that would go to his business. <laughs> oh man, we could do some business. Yeah. And one of the things that Chris always talks about is having Plan A and the Plan B. You know, so you always have a backup plan on mm -hmm. how you move and to that's to your benefit. The comps that came in originally, they came they came in where uh, we have two properties on one on the left and one on the right. They recently sold within six months, rehab for about one hundred and thirty eight and one hundred thirty seven thousand dollars, and at the same time, they're about three hundred. Uh, they're about uh, this particular property has additional five hundred square feet above those properties. So we have a, a bigger opportunity to sell a bigger property with a little bit more gross living area in it. So yeah, very cool. so, is there as well. Yeah. So, so just as pulled all the comps here, this is something, you know, if you're looking to lend on this deal, you just would kind of want to run down through this and, you know, make sure everything looks, looks legit. And this looks uh, perfect. So this is all stuff that Joseph can send you. Um, you know, if you guys wanted to dig in a little bit more or, um, or like you said, you know, maybe you have enough here where you just, Hop on the phone and say, "Where do I sign?" Absolutely. So, what are the terms? What, what, like. what, so, 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 tell me again. What does this look like? What do you, what do you offer, or um, what interest rate are you looking at paying for? How long? Um, you know that kind of thing. Yeah, the well, we're going in uh, around. We like to keep it within about fifteen percent interest. Uh, I've been looking at at least six months so that we can come back and take our time getting things done, and and if we get them done sooner. Uh, on our first transaction that we actually did uh, on Private Money Club, um, I think we had borrowed like 30000 and we paid that back in 27 days. Uh, since then, that created a, a really good vibe because it showed that we were performing uh, and we like we like to overachieve because you know we want to create a great relationship with our members. Um, yeah, no, that's awesome. Okay. And then so how, what's the best way for somebody to get a hold of you, Joseph? Uh, uh, to yes. Um, uh, my telephone number, email address. My telephone number is 513-970-8951. Uh, 513-970-8951. And my email address, banksonestop at gmail.com. That's B-A-N-K-S, like baby, apple, Nancy, kite, Sam, uh, digital one, S-T-O-P at gmail.com. I'd be very happy to go over the numbers. And um, we can work something out that, you know, works for everybody. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't see any questions coming in for this deal right now, Joseph. And then do we get this on Private Money Club also? Have you had a chance to put it on there? Yes. Oh, yes. It's posted. Okay. Okay, cool. So this is another way you guys can uh, just, if you're on and you want to learn more about it, you can go right on privatemoneyclub.com. And... Uh, it's in the deal section, right? Yeah, I see it right here. So let me just share in case somebody wants to kind of check it out on their own. Um, so you just hop on privatemoneyclub.com, head over to the deal section, and you can see it uh, was posted here um, here recently. So you can click this right here. Right, yeah, that's that was, it. It kind of reviews a little bit more about what we just talked about today, a little more details on the property. Um, you have those documents that I was just sharing, so you can click those and download and check them out. Um, of course, connect with Joseph and Bridget, send them a message if you want to connect, or you can just uh, send them a text or email or give them a call with the contact information I just provided. So what's kind of your vision on 2024? Are you focusing you know, on doing more of these types of deals? Are you guys focused right in the Ohio area? What's that kind of look like for you? A great majority of the property that we own has been in New York. We are branching out. Uh, I've been back and forth by by state between Ohio and New York. Uh, I like Ohio a lot. I seem to be able to put out a little money and get a lot back. The uh, rentals are very strong. And one of the areas that we're looking in 2024 of really dominating is in co-living spaces. Uh, we kind of like looking at uh, certain opportunities in co-living as well as in adult communities and 
which kind of like work the same way as co-living, but we're working mainly for professional uh, uh, workers that they can have uh, like uh, nurses and doctors that move back and forth between the hospitals. So we have professional working living spaces. And so uh, it's not like an Airbnb where people are in and out weekly or, or, or by, uh, in and out daily. They're signing leases and they're in for six months to a year to two years. And we like the stability of that. And it seemed to be yielding more profit for a lot of the uh, single family and multifamily places that we're able to convert. And those are the places that we're focusing on for 2024 is yielding a uh, larger cash flow. Yeah, I like it. I mean, that's um, that's a great plan. All right. So uh, so with that said, Joseph, I appreciate you sharing on here. Is there anything else you wanted to add before we wrap this up? Yeah, we have, uh, besides this, we've probably got about four deals on the table, oftentimes from New York, just so you've been knowing, you would know, you know we're not able to post our transactions uh, for New York in the uh, uh, regular location. So we have to go through the uh, the forum, the public forum. We have a, additional trans uh, deals on the table as well that may you know suit the fancy, but uh, give me a call. We'd like to talk to you about it one on one, but also outside of our personal needs, we like to find out what are your lending needs. You know, what what's your goal? What are you planning on doing? And see how we can either fit or bring some of our associates to work with you based on what your plans are in terms of how you're managing your investment dollars into real estate and other things. So the more we get to know about each other, the more we get to share with each other and prosper together. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's a that's a great point. I mean, if you know. If you like, you know, even if you don't have, you know, the funds for this deal or, you know, this deal doesn't fit your lending, um, you know, rules that you're looking to, to lend, you know, connecting with someone like Joseph, building that relationship and, and you guys developing that moving forward. I mean, that can make all the difference in the world. And it sounds like they're going to continue to bring more and more deals to the table. And, you know, it's nice having deals to lend on that are, you know, in that smaller dollar amount, you know, you're not just looking at three, four, $500,000. Right. This one, I mean, you're looking for 60,000 um, on a house worth 155,000. So like we said, a 42% loan to value in a first lien position at 60,000. I mean, that's, that's a great, great opportunity right there, Joseph. And so yeah, if you keep bringing yeah. those deals, I think you'll keep having a lot of success on here. Well, yeah, we've got a we've got uh, we've got another grand transaction that we did too. Strange enough, um, show you we have a property that in Albany that it actually caught fire. It's actually being rebuilt completely by the insurance company, and uh, we paid it off actually so that we wouldn't have any control from the lender at all. We can get everything done. Um, we we have a with that property we're going to be raising around one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Uh, so that we can expand more into the co-living environments. But that property, when it's finished, is going to be worth $700,000. And we owe zero on it now. And it's completely being rebuilt uh, in, within the next six months. So that's another great uh, situation. So we'd love to talk to you guys and get a chance to get your feeling, what your ability is like. And, you know, we see where we can go from there. We're here for each other. I love it, man. I love it, Joseph. Well, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate you coming on. We will um we'll get this recording out in a couple of days. You know, I would save this and and maybe put it, you know, with with your post on there so people can kind of see more, you know, see who you are and definitely keep me updated um, you know, how this is going. And you know, if you you know, if you're still needing funding for it, you know, we can definitely keep it, you know, keep it in front of the lenders. And then anytime you have future deals, let me know. We'll bring you on and, and love to hear more about them. This is these are great. I appreciate the opportunity. And really, I want to thank you guys for being genius and humble enough to create this community so this could become a permanent watering hole for us. Because so far, I will tell you, in the last 45 days, it has worked for me in such a wonderful way. I've actually, I almost can't believe it. I've closed four deals with you guys already through this platform. That's great. That's great. Well, I love to hear it, Joseph. Really appreciate it. And we will uh, we'll be in touch with you soon. We'll, we'll, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Take care, guys. Have a great week. Thank you. All right. Um, I was just kind of reading down through the comments real fast. So I was trying to see. So Chris, Chris Chef, I'm not sure what Chris is posting a Google document with deals that he has. I'm not sure, Chris. I mean, that's um, you know, if you're looking for money for deals, 
uh, you know, I would definitely look at joining Private Money Club and, and getting those onto the platform and in front of the right people. Um, you know, usually just posting stuff in a in a webinar in the chat, you know, it's it's kind of spammy feeling. And so, you know, I don't know if that's the best way to raise funds for deals. I'm just trying to help you out, Chris. Like if I saw that, I would not have any interest. I, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want to comment what, what that's all about, my friend, I'm not sure. Are you, are you on Private Money Club already? Because I, I, I was trying to look through the deals. I don't see it. And then it looks like Adam has a ton of knowledge, but looking for more funds to utilize. So yeah, same thing. I mean, like Joseph just said, you know, it's been on for a couple months now and in the last 45 days has raised funds on four deals and, you know, working on this fifth one and, and more in the future. So that's, you know, what, what becoming a, a premier member, getting your deals in the right areas and, and going from there. Um, yeah. So, so Chris, if you're looking to, to learn more, I just posted a link to um, schedule a call, but basically what private money club is, is it's a, a platform. Uh, it's really a mastermind of borrowers and lenders. And so, you know, on one hand, half the people in private money club are borrowers. The other half are lenders. So as a real estate investor, entrepreneur, borrower, you're able, you know, you have the ability to post your deals on the platform. Um, and there's two different sections for that. So there's this, what was called the public forum, which is what you're looking at right here. And you can look through, which is basically anything. This is where Hunter's cabinet shop would be posted. Um, you can just make new connections on the forum. Um, in states like New York that aren't allowed in the deal section, you can post those on here. Um, and then of course there's the deal section. So you can go through and actually look at deals. So as an investor, this is where you want to post your deal. So like we just talked about with, um, you know, with, with Joseph here, he posted his deal on here. This is how he got funding for his last four deals. Um, and you can see all the different deals on here. So just give you an example of another one. This is Bobby Tyndall, part of the uh, re-up community with Noah. And uh, he has his company, REI Tactical. So there's a house, 60,000. You know, so you can post pictures, you can post description, you can post documents and everything. And that way all the lenders on Private Money Club go in and they see this. They reach out to you, connect directly, um, click I'm interested. You can send each other direct messages and then you can make the deals happen that way. Also on Private Money Club, it is a mastermind. So uh, we do this show every Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern. We also have a two-hour coaching we do once a month. Um, there's different courses. There's a learn section. There's blogs. Uh, there's lots of different support. We do events a couple times a year. So that's kind of just a, you know, a little bit more about Private Money Club and um, and what it can do for you. Hey, Tess, how's it going? So Tess is uh, taking the Accelerator Coaching right now. Accelerator Coaching is an eight-week coaching program we have. If you're newer to lending or newer to borrowing money, private money, uh, it really walks you through the how-to, builds up your confidence, credibility, really shows you how to um, make the most out of being a private money club member. So if you're newer to this kind of thing, I would definitely look at uh, going through the Accelerator Coaching Program. You know, Tess said relationships are so important in this journey. This is such an amazing platform to change all of our lives while being in service and solving others' problems. Yeah, absolutely, Tess. Couldn't agree more. Um, let's see. Leanne said, thank you, Stephen, for these opportunities. I do. Yeah, Leanne, absolutely. I mean, you know, I think they're both really cool deals. Um, obviously, I see a lot of good stuff come through Private Money Club, but these today were pretty amazing, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, Chris, the, the link I posted is just to get on the call. You can also dial 833-JOIN-PMC, and our team's uh, usually there standing by to answer your calls and answer any questions that you have. Uh, so Eddie said, is there a website or webinar recording for Private Money Club? Yeah, so the um, all the recordings, all the Money Club Mondays, all the past ones, we do post on the YouTube channel. So let me post that link if anybody wants to go back and watch um, past Money Club Mondays. And then this uh, money, this this recording will be put up uh, usually on Wednesday. It's usually a couple days later. And Adam has a ton of knowledge looking for more funds. Yeah, Adam. So just get on Private Money Club, post your deals, and you'll be able to raise lots and lots of money. Uh, Deontay, I don't, I'm not sure on a web development business. Um Maybe shoot me an email and, and I can look into that for you. Just send me what you have or what you're looking for and I can see if we can help at all. And if anybody needs anything, snaggy at privatemoneyclub.com. All right. 
All right. Well, I don't see any other questions coming in. So with that said, I'm going to post the contact information one more time. So the first, and just a recap of today's call, the first deal we had was with Hunter um, Dubich out of Louisiana, who I met at a mastermind last year. He's part of the Chris Rude um, connection and does a lot of real estate in the Louisiana area. They do developing um, as well as other types of real estate uh, deals. And they're looking right now to buy a cabinetry shop that they can A, use to buy cabinet work from for their real estate deals. Um, and also it's a profitable business. Um, so they're looking to cash the owner out, keep him on payroll for the next five years and build that business as well using his background. That deal is on Private Money Club in the forum. And you can reach out to Hunter for more information. And um, he's got all the financials. He's got a list of the collateral that would be backing your loan. And he's looking for fifty dollars to $150,000 on that deal. And then second, we had Joseph Banks, who needs about sixty grand on a property worth of uh, ARV at one fifty five. dollars Needs that for about six months and is looking for a 12 to 15% interest. And I'll put his info one more time in the chat box as well. So you guys can reach out to Joseph. Um, he's also on Private Money Club, so you can see the deal on there. Um, also in the deal section. And Joseph has other deals coming and a lot of opportunities in this new year. So, you know, even if you don't aren't looking to lend on this specific deal, highly recommend connecting, start building that relationship. So when you are in a position to deploy capital and make a deal happen, he's right there in your Rolodex. You guys are ready to make things happen and uh, get that money moving. Because remember, the more time you got to spend looking for deals and dealing with all the, the, the red tape, the less time that your money's out there working for you, making more money. So build those connections now, build those relationships now, get educated and uh, and get that money moving and making more money for you. At the end of the day, that's what PMC Private Money Club is all about, becoming your own banker, acting like the bank and uh, growing your wealth in that sense. So with that said, um, thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate everybody being on today. If you need anything, give me a shout. Uh, thanks again, Joseph Hunter. And we'll see everybody next Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Of course, we have all of our normal shows on Wednesday this week, What the F Happened, Wealth Webinar, and Ask Me Anything. So we'll see you on those. See you next week. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you.